Hello YouTube, uh, Jack of My Trades here with the uh, first of my decks. You clicked on the Uriah deck. Rawr. Okay, so let's start. All right. Since um, this one's on trap monsters, these are my trap fillers. I put these in the trap card zone. You're, I'm the only one you're going to see with them actually on the card. Alright, this is my, uh, we'll start off with the side deck. There are a few cards in the deck that you switch out. And we have Coffin Cellar, Non-Fusion Area, Dragon Capture Dark, great for Synchros. Uh, Stygian Dirge is one of my favorites when you're going up against a Synchro deck. Um, because, especially when you're going up against Shooting Star, where they go Formula and Stardust, you chain Stygian Dirge. If you chain one, you're tuning a level one with a level seven, making a level eight instead of making a level 10. If you chain two, then they're going into a, um, Formula would only be a level one, and Stardust would be a level uh, six, so you have to tune into a seven. So it really messes up Synchros. Need a wall, uh, by order. Gravity Bind, uh, Greed. Pure Iron Wall, great card for keeping my trap cards in the graveyard. Royal Command, DNA Surgery, messes up decks. Um, especially the run of solidarity. Uh, Magical Thorn, Skeletal Limitation, and Enervating Mist. There's some random trap cards. There's a lot of different ones that you can play in this deck, but uh, I don't have any of those. Right, we'll start off with three Arias. Main card of the deck. Um, gains a thousand attack for every trap card, summon it by tributing three trap cards, which you can usually get on your first turn. Uh, then we have the only other monster in the deck, which is Sangan, to search out Uriah, because he has zero. We'll start off with the trap monsters. We have three Zone of the Spirits. Uh, he's an 1800 beat stick, so right off the bat he's good. Then he has the added effect of when he's destroyed, you get uh, to inflict damage equal to the monster's destroyed in his attack. So good move is to suicide these into anything that's strong. And with another card in your spirit barrier, you'll take no damage and they'll just take lots. Um, Tiki Curse, the new, tra uh, new trap monster from uh, Storm of Ragnarok. Um, great trap card when any of your other monsters that are treated as traps um, are in battle um, the monster that battles them is destroyed at the end of the damage step so like if you run Zoma into um, Odin to say Odin because he's 4,000 um, Odin dies by a Tiki Curse's effect they'll take four grand really good and then we have the next Tiki uh, Tiki Soul um, when he's a uh, thousand, so not as good, but he's got 1800 defense, so he's basically flipped of Tiki Curse. And when um, another trap monster you control uh, is would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can set it face down instead of it being destroyed. So they go Dark Hole, you can go set. They go Raikou target, you can set. They go Celestia target, and you can set them. It's really good. Um, for defense, three Metal Reflex Lines. 3,000 defense, not getting over that very easily. Um, then I run these just because I don't have any embodiment of Apophysis, and I like running these two. Because um, if you get into like a uh, nobleman of, I don't know, uh, Messenger of Peace, um, these two can still attack. And then he's just a 2,000 defender. Um, we have a great card in this deck uh, Imperial Customs. It's Prevents all your continuous trap cards from being destroyed, no matter what. So they go Heavy Storm, which is banned. You go Imperial Customs. Um, on first turn, I usually have one of these set, and then Trap Monsters. And so they target one of my Trap Monsters. I'll go Chain Trap Monster Activation, Chain Imperial Customs. Doesn't die. Um, a card that pisses people off, Anti-Spell Fragrance. It turns all, all spell cards into traps. They can only be used on your turn. And then we have Stalling Cards. We have a Nightmare Wheel, which does uh, damage. Uh, Phoenix Chain, which negates the effect and prevents the attack. And then decreases by 700 and prevents the attack. Then we have the Replica Zing Zang Hu. Because it's easier to target one card than two. Which is why I run these instead of Zing Zang Hu. Uh, Spirit Barrier, self explanatory. You run Zoma into anything, you take no damage. Um, it also, pr and if you're going Imperial Customs, while well, you have a Tiki Curse and another monster. And you uh, go Imperial Customs, you're not getting any damage and they're just going to lose everything. Mirror Wall, great if you have Imperial Customs because you can choose not to pay. And because of Imperial Customs, it can't be destroyed. So you get a free uh, cut your monster, free Gale for every attack. Begone Knave, one of the card. Begone Knave. Begone Knave, one of the cards you switch out. Um, just basically, it goes, a uh, monster attacks, 
It returns to the hand, so your trap monsters return to your hand if you want to set something else, or their monsters will return. Solemn Wishes, a card that can be switched out, but I usually keep it in. Gain 500 life points every time you draw. Um, Scrub Ride, negates the battle if you uh, you send a card to your control. So it gives, if you have a Uriah, it gives Uriah a plus one. So if they're going to attack with something strong and you go Scrub Ride, send continuous trap cards, Uriah gains a thousand. We have a normal trap, the only three normal traps in the deck, which is uh, two bottomless and a mirror force, just self-explanatory. And we go on to the spell cards. You're thinking a trap deck shouldn't have spell cards. It has draw power. Magical planners, send a continuous trap card you control to the graveyard, draw two cards. Give your eye a plus 1,000, get plus two. You're doing good. And then an MST just to hit anything they have. Um, yeah, so that's my traps. Um, go back to the main uh, main video and click on another video. Uh, check my trades out.